Hey guys, it's Fofena. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Thank you for checking my channel out. Sorry if I sound weird, I have to keep my voice low because I'm actually still traveling and I don't want to disturb anyone, but I hope that doesn't bother you guys. Before we actually started the road trip, we went to Walmart because we were missing some things. We were actually supposed to leave December 23rd, but we delayed it a day just because we were lazy, so I obviously had to check the doll section, as one does. And to be completely transparent, I know I had a clickbaity thumbnail, that's why I made sure to include timestamps. You're welcome. So my daughter got a Happy Meal, and McDonald's is collaborating with Has- Miniature Guess Who game? It's purse-sized, and I freaking love that! Road tripping. We have Gulia. She's all bundled up. Well, her legs are cold, but she's also a zombie. And then here is Sabrina. Again, her legs are cold, but I'm sure she'll be okay. I have so many of these McDonald's My Little Ponies, so I am going to give this to the child. <laughs> yeah, this blanket has a scorpion on it. Isn't that so str- oh. to a hotel in Dallas at like midnight yeah I don't know how we managed to do a 14 hour well I didn't drive but <laughs> hey I asked okay and the cameraman would let me drive but we did a 14 hour drive and we have a six hour drive today and Gulia looks really cute there's also this spotlight it's not really a spotlight it's for reading it's a reading light she looks so cool! It's Christmas Day, by the way. We have this seven hour drive on Christmas Day. We finally got there and opened gifts shortly after. If you're wondering what I got for Christmas, you'll have to wait till that video comes out. We went to this shopping center and I had to check out the doll section at Target. Little did I know it was completely wiped out and there were a couple things that were on sale that I was a little interested in, but we went shopping because we needed to buy warmer clothes. We didn't know that we were gonna be going outside in 20 degree weather, so we had to buy warmer clothes. That's why we left the house. We don't typically leave the house. We usually just stay indoors and play games, but I will never pass up a trip to Target.
This was the activity we needed to buy clothes for during the spring, summer, and maybe fall. It's a zoo. And during the winter, they turn it into a Christmas light amusement park of sorts. I had fun bringing Gulia, and there was a carousel. Yeah, fun, but cold. These are the dollies I brought, and I packed everything in this, and in these two. In this one I have the pants. I have a multitude of skirts, and yeah. In this one, boots. After the Barnes & Noble trip, I discovered that my cousin-in-law had an American Girl doll collection. She loved them a lot as a kid. She had a total of two dolls and Kit's bed. This mattress topper right there is actually so you can make the bed into a double. Is that considered a trundle bed? I don't think it is, but she had a single mattress and a full mattress. For her doll and her sister's doll. Her sister had a doll, but she did not like them as much as this cousin who still really likes them and is saving them for her kids. But yeah, she was showing off kids' bed. She did not have a pillow, but I think it's fine. They don't need pillows, right? And as you can see, the doll to the left, that is Lainey, Girl of the Year 2010, I think. That was her little mini-me doll, and... Funnily enough, I recently purchased her second hand, so I had already seen that doll in real life. And then this was her sister's mini-me doll. I'm assuming it's a Just Like You doll. I feel like I know the American Girl characters pretty well, and she did not look like anyone I knew. This one was an another Just Like You doll. I don't know the Just Like You Truly Me dolls very well, but I'm assuming those last two were... Please let me know in the comments the number if you recognize them. I'd be really interested. And I think they'd find that information useful. And here's a closer look of the outfit and hair on this doll. These outfits are a bit whack, but I redressed my dolls. And this was the last clip I took before we left Mississippi. So December 29th was the day, the day we left Mississippi, but also the day the 2023 Girl of the Year American Girl doll was announced and released, and her name is Kavi Sharma. I explained to my family members that were driving that day, and it didn't take much convincing. They thought that it would be amazing for me to document the shop and put it on my YouTube channel and just experience it for myself so I can remember it forever. Um, shout out to the family member that drove. You know who you are if you're watching. We were going to get there 30 minutes before this store closed. And with the traffic and the weather and everything, it was looking bleak. The ETA kept getting later and later. But thanks to that family member and the cameraman for driving quickly, safely, and legally to Dallas in time for me to walk around the American Girl doll store for the first time as an adult doll collector. Sadly, I had to be quick, but 
I'm still so grateful I was able to go. Plus, I'm going back in April, so haha. <laughs> Here is the girl of the year, Kavi Sharma. She had actually been styled in that specific dress four different times. There were four Kavi dolls wearing the same outfit, but I digress. So I was just checking out all of her little displays, her little glass displays. I also apologize for my recording. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get it all, so I was going super quick and didn't realize she was out of frame most of the time, so sorry about that. I'm not going to tell you my thoughts on this doll yet because I'm saving that for another video, but I just wanted to give you some up-close shots, or at least try to. Here's another Kavi in that dress, which is so beautiful, by the way. I love the colors that they chose. And she has so many different musical play sets. I'm really confused about her hobbies because I know she likes Broadway but she also likes mixing music and producing music I'm just confused and I noticed these outfits were new I think they're travel outfits both of them are super cute and again I wanted to look at the entire store because this was my first time visiting as an adult dog collector so I really wanted to look at everything and I was speeding through it all so sorry again Here's her full set. I did not have plans to buy a doll today, and I wanted to look at Rebecca because Rebecca is a doll that I've been wanting for a while. She's super cute. I love that Josefina mold. And there's another Kavi wearing that dress. I don't blame them though, she looks great in that dress. Here's a little Christmas display, I'm assuming they're going to take it down soon so I wanted to get a video of it. And after watching Stranger Things, I've been really feeling the 80s aesthetic, so I loved looking at Courtney. I still don't think I want the Courtney doll, but I'd love to have her pieces one day. And here's cute little Claudie, I love the baking powder or flower on her face, it's adorable. But that's really it for this video. I'm going to keep showing you different glass display cases because I just wanted to check them all out. But that's the end of the video. Thank you again for stopping by. If you watched the entire video, I love you. And to everyone watching, have a happy new year. I will see you in a new video in the new year. And I look forward to it. So yeah, bye.